Just want to do a quick follow-up on the astronomic dark filter that I installed in the filter wheel. So when I went to run it uh, as part of a um, session, uh, towards the, well, it was daylight, uh, in fact, in the next morning. So it was like uh, nearly 10 o'clock in the morning, the next morning. So in full daylight, unfortunately, uh, it completely was a whitewash. Uh, it just completely saturated uh, in a five minute exposure. So that was really uh, a problem and I didn't really understand why that had happened. So uh, I basically assumed that potentially that there's a bit of a light leak uh, around the edge of the filter. Um, but I think it's actually the way that the the filter is, uh, it's not, not the filter that's not allowing light through, it's light getting around behind internally in terms of the reflections. So to prove that point, I just took a five second exposure rather than a five minute exposure. Um, again, that was just a little bit after that. Um, and so what I ended up with was this. So you could see that there is light getting around uh, behind the filter. So it's, it's making it to the sensor. So that's a problem. Uh, so doing it during the day, if I did put the dust cover on, uh, so this was just to prove a point, another, I was able to then get a good dark. Um, what I found in the end is I tried the next night uh, to do a, a dark as part of the imaging run, um, but I did it before dawn. So, uh, and, and the sky at the moment, because we're in summer here in Australia, um, sunrise is at about six-ish in the morning. Uh, at about five, you're starting to get some daylight. Um, so this was at the end of the session, so it was at about 4.30 a.m., so well before the, um, uh, the start of any kind of light coming through. And we can see that the dark is, is a good dark, so you can get through here. Uh, and even if I was trying to just adjust the, um, the gamma here, you can see that we're not... Well, we're getting a little bit of, of light through here, but who knows if that's uh, a result of what, what that's a result of. That could be just literally uh, amp glow in the, uh, in the image, uh, for all I know. So, but it, it looks like a good dark. Uh, and if we do the same thing on the dark with the dust cover, yeah, it is the same. So I, I suspect that this is glow on the amp and or actual stuff that we, we are missing. You know, it, it's, it's coming from the sensor, not from stray light. So uh, right now, I can't uh, recommend that you do the darks uh, in daytime, but they work fine uh, when you're doing them at night. Uh, and so still, it's a great way to automate it. Um, I may have a look inside the filter wheel and see if there's a way that I can uh, put some kind of uh, light blocking sort of mask around things and see if I can make that better. But realistically, I think what that means is I've just got to time the darks to run them sort of uh, in the last half an hour of... Uh, of darkness uh, uh, to to do automate it, and I think that's uh, that's going to be quite successful. Realistically, you can do it with a bit of light, but direct sunlight is just it's going to overwhelm it and get through there. So um, that's where I'm going to leave it. I think it's uh, it's worthwhile still, and I have used this uh, in a good session uh, and, and used this kind of dark. Uh, to good effect. So uh, I'm still happy with the purchase.